Chapter 12, Mishnah 3. If the mother bird was hovering above the nest when a person came to take the egg or chicks, the law is as follows. If he comes at a time when the mother's wings are touching the chicks or eggs in the nest, he is obligated to send her away, even though she is not actually sitting on the nest. However, if her wings are not touching the chicks or eggs in the nest, then he is exempt from sending her away, because this does not fulfill the Torah's condition that the mother bird is roosting on the chicks or the eggs. The Mishnah explains how many chicks or eggs must be in the nest for the mitzvah to apply. Even if there is only one chick at the even if there is only one chick or one egg in the nest, the finder is obligated to send away the mother bird, because the Torah simply says a nest, which implies a nest of any kind, even one that has only one chick or egg in it. Not all chicks and eggs are subject to this mitzvah, as the Mishnah now explains. If the chicks in the nest are already grown to the point where they are able to fly a little and find their own food, or the eggs in the nest are not fertilized by a male, he is exempt from sending away the mother bird. Because the verse says, and the mother is roosting on the chicks or on the eggs. The door compares the eggs to the chicks. This teaches that the eggs must be like the chicks. Just as the chicks of which the verse speaks are able to live, so to the eggs in the nest must be those that are able to live by eventually hatching baby chicks. This excludes unfertilized eggs from the mitzvah of sending away the mother. Similarly, the Torah compares the chicks to the eggs. This teaches that just as the eggs in this verse need their mother to sit on them until they hatch, so to the chicks in this verse are those that need their mother to bring them food. This excludes from the mitzvah chicks that are already able to fly a little and find their own food. The Mishnah now gives the law for a bird that was sent away and returned. If he sent away the mother bird and she returned before he took the eggs, and he then sent her away and again she returned, even if this happened four or five times, he is still obligated to send her away again before taking the eggs because the verse says, you shall surely send away the mother. The Mishnah considers whether a person may reverse the procedure, take the mother and send away the chicks or eggs. If the finder says, I will take the mother bird and send away the young, instead of sending away the mother bird and keeping the chicks or eggs, he is not permitted to do so. Rather, he must send away the mother bird. As the verse says, you shall surely send away the mother bird and take the young for yourself. Although we learned above that if the mother bird returns to her nest, she must be sent away again before taking the young, there is one case where this is not necessary. If he sent away the mother bird and took the young for himself, and he then put them back in the nest, and afterward the mother came back to sit on them, he is exempt from sending her away again. Once he has taken the young for himself, they are now his and are now considered readily available. The mitzvah of sending away the mother bird does not apply in a case where the birds are readily available, as we learned in Mishnah 1.